Welcome to the 17th video related to the Howard 3D library. I am Mark Debrat from Howard Tech. In this video, I will present a few of the new features introduced with version 2.2 of the Howard 3D library. For a complete list of those new features, or for more information about the Howard 3D library for LabVIEW from National Instruments, go to howardtech.com. Two new features have been requested by Howard 3D users. The ability to read QR codes and the ability to clone holograms for HoloLens improved performance when dealing with large number of holograms. These two features were introduced, among others, in version 2.2 of the Harrow 3D library and are demonstrated in this video. The source code of this VI is available and can be downloaded using the link provided in the description of this video. The block diagram of the VI used to demonstrate these features is shown here. It consists in a simple state machine. The entry state is initialized, where the data are initialized and the server for the HoloLens is launched. The machine then transitions to the wait for event state where it waits for the HoloLens to connect. Upon connection, the voice commands of the primary HoloLens are configured to respond to the user command read QR code. In the present case, after the first HoloLens connection, the VI also waits for a secondary HoloLens to connect. Upon the secondary HoloLens connection, the start mapping case runs, where a new VI is used to programmatically launch surface mapping from the primary HoloLens. The user is then notified by voice of the surface mapping start. The VI then waits for the user to air tap a map surface. The position of the air tap on the map surface is used as the new origin of the coordinate system and the creation of an anchor by the HoloLens is requested. When the VI receives the anchor from the primary HoloLens, it properly stores the anchor in a data value reference and forwards it to the secondary HoloLens. The surface mapping is then programmatically stopped, of which the user is notified. The VI then waits for a text response corresponding to the read QR code voice command. A new VI of the Haro 3D library then requests a picture to be taken by the primary HoloLens. Upon receiving the picture from the HoloLens, the picture is analyzed for the presence of one or more QR code using another new VI of the Haro 3D library that decodes QR codes. The found QR code is used to assign the parameters of a simulation of some kind of propagation of a wave through a cell made of subcells. When the user confirmation is received, the cell is created. The cell is a cube made of small holograms. Each hologram represents a point in space that can indicate a value by its color. For this example, the cell is made of 30 by 30 by 30 subcells, corresponding to a total of 27,000 holograms. That number of holograms is possible using a new function of the Haro 3D library, batch that clones all the requested holograms from an array using the parameters of the first object of the array. The 27,000 subcells are displayed as cubed until the user has tapped one of the subcells. When one object has been air tapped, all subcells are hidden and propagation points are being created. 27,000 holograms are a little bit too much for the HoloLens to handle smoothly. Therefore, a smaller number of holograms are being cloned and will be colored and moved to represent the wave propagation within the cell. Timeout value is changed from minus 1 to the desired time step for each simulated wave step. The display of the 2000 holograms representing the wave within the cell is done in the display state called from the timeout case of the event structure. In the display point state, the point positions and values are calculated and applied to the 2000 holograms. The application quits when the primary HoloLens disconnects. Now, let's have a look at this application while it's running. Here, the primary HoloLens connects. And here, the secondary HoloLens connects. Surface mapping started. After the start of the surface mapping, a location for the origin of the Accords Net system is selected by air tapping on one of the mapped surfaces. Surface mapping stopped. The QR code is then read. Read QR code. The simulation parameters extracted from the QR code are presented to the user for confirmation. The cell and its 27,000 subcells are shown to the user. Visibly, the HoloLens struggles to display that many holograms. 
After air tapping one of the subcell, 2000 hologram spheres are continuously colored and moved to represent the progression of the wave within the cell. Do not hesitate to leave question, comment, feedback in the comment section of this video in National Instruments 3D Vision Virtual Group or directly at harotech.com. Thank you for watching.